Yo, what's up guys? Nitro here. And so you've got your model to the point where you are ready to join things to the body. First thing I recommend, make sure you make a separate save of the model just in case something happens and or duplicate the model into another collection and keep it by just right click duplicate collection. So what you're going to want to do now is click on the asset, make sure you have a material for it and make sure you go ahead and name it something nice because naming something now is a lot better than naming it later and trying to figure things out. So you're going to want to click whatever it is and you're going to want to click control A and click all transforms. This just makes it to where in case you do merge just the bones and you leave the mesh, the mesh doesn't explode off the body and go somewhere random. Next, you're going to want to click the mesh and hold shift and click the body of whatever it is. Whatever you click last that is highlighted is the parent. Now you're going to hit control J. Once it's merged and you know that it's completely there, you're going to want to turn on both armatures of the things that you want to merge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the head and I'm going to find wherever the main bone is that has nothing connected to the bottom of it. This is the parent. Drag it way outside of the body and you want to grab and do the same thing. Shift and control J. Once these two are together, grab the bone that is floating out here. that has nothing connected to it. Shift click the head bone, hit control and P and then click keep offset. Connected just makes these bones do exactly what it says and they connect. Once you have this, this can go anywhere inside the head, honestly, in whatever orientation. Just as long as you go into pose mode, grab the actual head of the model and rotate, and things should work. If that works, then that's how this would go. And you can have meshes that just have the bones connected, but the actual mesh is separate. This is how you do things like that. You can also just grab things like this and control jam to the body. And it'll make it all one mesh. Well, this is how you add assets to the model. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you in the next one.